What if the universe is conscious? A question as old as thought. For as long as humans have looked up at the stars, we have wondered not only what the universe is, but what it might know. Could the cosmos be more than just a stage on which the drama of life unfolds? Could it be the author as well? Could the universe itself possess a form of consciousness? This idea, once relegated to philosophy, mysticism, or science fiction, is increasingly discussed at the edges of modern science. Physicists, neuroscientists, cosmologists, and philosophers are asking, if consciousness emerges from complex systems like brains, could a sufficiently complex universe also be conscious? And if so, what would that even mean? In this documentary, we will explore this breathtaking concept from multiple perspectives, scientific, philosophical, and spiritual. We'll dive into quantum mechanics, panpsychism, cosmology, and theories of information to ask one of the most mind-bending questions imaginable. What if the universe is not just aware of us, but is us? What is consciousness? Before we can ask whether the universe is conscious, we must first understand what consciousness is. Despite centuries of thought, science has yet to provide a universally accepted definition of consciousness. Is it the ability to perceive? To experience? To make decisions? Is it a binary property, or does it exist on a spectrum? Most neuroscientists agree that consciousness involves subjective experience, what it's like to be something. But how that experience arises from matter is one of the deepest mysteries in science. The so-called hard problem of consciousness, coined by philosopher David Chalmers. From neurons firing in a brain to the glow of awareness behind your eyes, something astonishing happens in living minds. But where does it come from? Is it an emergent property of complexity, or is it a fundamental feature of reality? This is where the conversation gets truly cosmic. The Rise of Panpsychism One of the most radical and surprisingly popular ideas in recent years is panpsychism, the belief that consciousness is a fundamental and ubiquitous aspect of the universe. According to panpsychism, even elementary particles like electrons may possess protoconsciousness rudimentary forms of awareness that, when combined in complex systems, give rise to higher forms of consciousness, like our own. Think of it this way. Instead of consciousness emerging from dead matter, Perhaps matter itself has always had a seed of consciousness within it, just as atoms combine to form molecules. Maybe mind combines to form higher minds. This doesn't mean that rocks or spoons are thinking, but it suggests that the fabric of reality is more like a spectrum of awareness. Panpsychism has been seriously discussed by philosophers like Galen Strawson, and even physicists like Roger Penrose. And it opens a door to an even wilder idea. What if the entire universe is a conscious whole? Quantum mechanics and the observer effect. Quantum physics has long been the realm of mystery and paradox and consciousness seems to sit right at its center. In quantum mechanics, Particles exist in superpositions multiple states at once until they are measured. Only then do they collapse into a single state. This is called the observer effect. But what counts as an observer? Does it require a conscious mind or can any interaction count? Some interpretations suggest that consciousness itself plays a role in determining physical reality. This has led to famous thought experiments like Schrodinger's cat, 
and to interpretations like the von Neumann-Wigner interpretation, which posits that consciousness is necessary for the collapse of the quantum wave function. If the very structure of reality depends on observation, and if observation depends on consciousness, then maybe the universe requires consciousness to exist at all. Or maybe it is already conscious, constantly observing itself. The universe as a neural network. What if the universe works like a brain? Some physicists and computer scientists have noticed striking similarities between the structure of the observable universe and the neural networks in our brains. For example, a 2020 study found that the cosmic web, the vast network of galaxies and dark matter, resembles the layout of neurons and synapses in the brain. The density, distribution, and connections between nodes show similar patterns. This has led to speculation that the universe could be a kind of giant information processor. Some theories, like those proposed by theoretical physicist Max Tegmark, suggest that reality is mathematics and perhaps computation. Could the universe be thinking? Could we be neurons in a cosmic mind? The Anthropic Principle and Cosmic Fine-Tuning Why is the universe so perfectly tuned for life? The Anthropic Principle states that the universe appears fine-tuned for conscious observers. The fundamental constants gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces seem set just right to allow life to exist. If any of these values were even slightly different, stars wouldn't form, planets wouldn't exist. Life as we know it would be impossible. Some see this as evidence of design. Others propose a multiverse and infinite number of universes with varying parameters. We happen to live in the one where consciousness is possible. But there's another possibility Maybe consciousness is not a result of the universe, but a requirement for it. Maybe the universe is structured in such a way because it is, on some level, conscious. Consciousness as a field. What if consciousness is not confined to brains, but is a field, like gravity or electromagnetism? This idea is gaining popularity in certain circles. Just as particles interact with the electromagnetic field, maybe all things interact with a consciousness field. Some propose that this field permeates the universe and that complex systems like brains can tune into it. This might explain why consciousness feels so unified, despite the billions of neurons involved. If this is true, then consciousness is not produced by the brain, but received or filtered by it. This would mean consciousness is everywhere and always has been. The Gaia Hypothesis and Global Mind Looking closer to home, the Earth itself may be conscious. The Gaia Hypothesis, proposed by James Lovelock, suggests that Earth functions as a single living organism, self-regulating and adaptive. Others have extended this idea into the realm of mind, suggesting that human civilization, technology, and communication networks form a kind of planetary brain. Could the Internet be the early nervous system of a global mind? Could the Earth itself be awakening? And if that's true for one planet, what about the universe as a whole? The universe awakens. Let's take the leap. If the universe is conscious, what does that mean for us? Are we fragments of its awareness individual eyes through which it sees itself? Are we co-creators of reality? 
or are we just beginning to glimpse a truth too vast to comprehend? Maybe consciousness didn't arise within the universe. Maybe the universe arose within consciousness. This flips the script of science and spirituality. It suggests that consciousness is not the end product of evolution, but the beginning of existence itself. The mystery remains. We may never know for sure whether the universe is conscious, but by asking the question, we touch something profound. In exploring the cosmos, we are also exploring ourselves. The boundary between observer and observed blurs. Perhaps the ultimate discovery is that there is no boundary at all. You are not just in the universe, you are the universe becoming aware of itself. And that changes everything.